What's going on guys, Ashton here plays here and welcome back to the FIFA 16 Sheffield United Career Mode series, episode 8 of season 3 and as you can see here a ridiculously busy schedule here, not a moment's rest with the three games we've got today and it's not really too great of a honest. so we are in fact going to have to amend our squad so that we've actually got enough fitness left to cope with the games after this. Therefore, we're going to have to play Frank Musa and Andre Wisdom in our team. We're also going to have to put Dicko out of the team because he's not fully fit and we don't want to waste his fitness away. So, yeah, I mean, the tough January schedule hasn't even started yet and we're already about to feel the cost of it because um, even in December, we have a huge amount of games clustered towards the end. So... Yeah, that's not really doing us too many favours, but if we come out of this on the right side, then we're still in good standing, so... Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to pick up a win here, but we are playing a slightly weakened side, so... Might not entirely be possible. So, early stages of the game here, and they get the first chance, first goal in fact, it was a dull start to the game, but this shot rocketed into the cor in top corner and they took a 1-0 lead. So, our fitness was already under question and we hadn't even really got into the busy schedule just yet. And here, at the end of the half, they have a great chance with that hitting the post, in fact, from Sutherland. But it ends the first half 1-0 to them. So. We're still in the game, but a goal down, and we have work to do in the second half. Well, we're up and running again. Thanks, Alan. So, early in the second half, the Musa here, Ready? what a goal that is. Just out of absolutely nothing, he smashes that one in. A great curling effort. He cuts in from the left, and it goes in off the post. Absolutely superb, and that makes it 1 1. His first goal of the season there, but Charlie Austin, who um, has signed for Southampton in real life, but is still with QPR in this, scores to make it 2-1, and we fell behind again, caught slouching defensively, and it was too easy for Austin to head that one into the roof of the net. But here, on the counter-attack, it reaches its way to Agard, and he scores, so it is 2-2. And that's how it ended. A great counter-attacking goal at the end there to ensure that we take a point back home. So, um, yeah, a pretty decent result there in all honesty, considering the fact we weren't playing Aarons and we weren't playing Braveford. So, yeah, next game though against Everton is going to be much tougher though because the squad in general is going to be quite tired. So... Yeah, we'll have a look at how things are with our team in terms of fitness. It's actually not too bad, but it could be better. If I'm honest, it could be better fitness-wise, but I'm pretty sure we can cope with it. We've got a few good players on the bench we can rely on. So they did beat us 2-0 earlier in the season, in our first game of the season, in fact. And now this is the first game of the second half of the season. So, yep, starting the second half just as we started the first although we are in a much better position now in the table. So, um, yeah, an away game and a chance for revenge. Um, and of course, as always, an opportunity to show our great away setup, I guess. We are very well set up to play away from home. So, yeah, another chance to prove that one. And um, we kick off. And early in the game, Aaron's here is cutting in from the left. Passes it to Ambrose and he hits the post. He should be doing a lot better with that one, but he doesn't. And then Aaron's here again from the left, cuts in. No one's stopping him. He continues his run and it deflects in off Howard for 1-0. That's his second goal now for the club. And he's really starting to get to grips and he's finding his shooting boots once again. So, um, yeah, he is on great form at the moment and a superb run there to get him the goal. But sloppy defending here, and it was 1-1 almost immediately. And 
it was all too easy for them to get that into the middle and Lukaku just had had the simple job of um, putting that one into the net. He did that and it was 1-1 quite quickly. And then here apparently this is handball and they get a penalty so it looked as though having been ahead we could be heading 2-1 behind on 27 minutes. But Baines misses the penalty hitting the post and we are given a reprieve so it is Perhaps fortunately 1-1 at half time. So it's finally balanced and hopefully we can push on in the second half. Here Ambrose is in behind, he finds Agard and late in the day it looks as though he's gonna win it. He hits it wide. That really could cost us. And here Everton right at the end, simple move and it does cost us. 2-1 and Barkley the scorer. And Agard will be ruining that missed chance. He really should never have missed it. And we should never be two one, have been 2 1 down, sorry. And we are the masters of our own downfall in the end. We lose 2 1. And we're starting to go through a bit of a rough patch now. Three games in the league without a win. And things will not get any easier in terms of the fixture congestion. But next up, it is a reasonably good distraction from the league in the FA Cup. We're against Brighton away, so hopefully we can get ourselves through to the fourth round safely. And this is in fact being played on the 31st of December 2017, so the last day before 2018 kicks in. And um, interestingly enough, World Cup, yeah, but... Um, that's not going to affect too many of our players and for now we're focusing on what we're doing this season so uh, yeah an away game at Brighton and we did lose this fixture last season 2-0 however we are a Premier League side now and we have much improved since then so I'm hoping that we can get ourselves through the fourth round without any slip ups and if we can, that'll set us away on our cup run for the season. We've been in the semi-finals of the FA Cup for the last two seasons, and this time hopefully we can go one step further. But we'll see about that, because we have to get through plenty of games before then, and here poor defending gives them a 1-0 lead. We go behind, and it looks as though we're in for a tough day if we're to make it to that fourth round even. A chance of us going out at the third round stage, which would be an embarrassment. But Ambrose here cuts in, has the shot, and Dicko pounces. The goal poacher gets his goal, and it's 1-1 very quickly. Before half-time, a great time to score, and a lot of questions had been asked of us having gone behind. We answered a lot of them there. So, um, 45th minute, we get the goal, and we go in 1-1 at half-time. So right back into the contest and we begin the second half hoping to go on and win the game. But this cross here from Rosinia and Zardes finishes it emphatically to make it 2-1. We once again go behind and we looked like we were having real trouble coping with Brighton. And we were facing an uphill challenge to even stay in and make it to the fourth round. But here Agard closes in on the goal and he scores it's 2-2 we get ourselves back in it again and they are not able to hold on to the lead and then here on the counter attack lightning fast as always this time it's Musa who finds Nuhadiko and here it's a difficult angle but he absolutely lambasts the ball in there for 3-2 he just absolutely whacks it and it hits the top left corner on the counter attack we stun them and it's 3-2 but the question is can we hold on to the lead and get through to the fourth round the answer could very well be no we concede the penalty here and it looks a bit theatrical but the decision can't be reversed and the penalty is taken they score it for 3-3 free free. and with only a little bit of time left it looks like we could be taken to a replay which is in fact the case not a great outcome because our fixture congestion was bad as it was. It's now gotten just that little bit worse. So our fixtures are going to be really congested in January. So um, we're going to have a tough old time coping with that. But anyways, um, that replay should be winnable. If we do, we'll have a cup run on the go 
and we'll still be in a good position in the league. As you can see there, we're still fourth. We haven't dropped down any places. But, yeah, I mean, we're going through a really tough time of the season, and it's a test of our credentials to do anything past mid-table, really. Um, so anyways, that's the end of this episode here. And if be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.